Good evening. Passion, mm. energy, eh? They're going to get into industry, isn't it? Industry guys, night, day people with passion, energy, right? So, um, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Kasturi, for inviting me. Uh, I love to interact with students uh, all across the world, with us all across the world. Uh, just to, you know, it's a good feeling uh, to really give you a, a real life perspective. Uh, how many people are here experienced before joining the NPA courses? Not bad. Mm. Okay. So if you relate some some of the discussions I've, I've been talking, but I'm looking at this more of an interactive discussion because uh, you have to really ask for information. It's very easy to read books, right? you go to websites, you get all the stuff. But the nuances of Practicality is one which you will have to revive. So, how much time do I have? So, one hour. One hour. It's a little Okay. Uh, it's too short a time for talking about PPP. So, I can't. so let me do something. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about three areas of PPP very quickly. Um, more than this is a much more discussion where government looks at all the possible PPP projects. The sponsoring authority could be power. Could be road, could be airports, right? And the state government. They look at what are the possible areas which has a certain value which can be contracted out to people. So you have identification, feasibility, um, and this is where the big problem comes, right? Second, obviously, a DPR, and then it goes in for bidding. Now, bidding is done in two ways bidding is just a number. You think all these big projects have complex bidding? It's just a number. So, how do we get bid for a DPP? Any idea? Something? Take a guess. What is something using a bid map? When you go to the industry, you're not. You have to think. Why you use a Why use a piece of? Come again. Tenders. Tender. Tenders. What does tender do? Oh, it's a very different, okay, you know, operate and transfer after 35 years. So PP is built on two basic things. One is, I know that if I take this contract at a certain capital cost, right, and every company has a certain return on equity. So Reliance, you say we can take 20% return on equity. All right, we just keep it the price. The bidder, the two ways of bidding. Bidder who basically offers a maximum premium to the government. Okay. So in Airport Express, we offer 55 crores every year to the government. Out of our revenue, which we presumed would happen. It didn't happen in the business. Whereas the two bidder said, you know what, I need a grant. So two ways. So basically, who basically offers the maximum money or who demands the least grant. So Mumbai Metro one, well, everybody bid for a grant. So I ask for a lower grant than the L2. Now grant is what basically is called VGF, well, uh, Viability Gap Fund. The VGF is basically, some of the projects are not viable financial. And hence, to reduce your return on capital employed, government offers allows you 20% of VGF to center and 20% by the state. So maximum VGF is allowed as 40% of capital cost. So in Bombay, if I bid 536 crores for Mumbai 1 as, as grant, somebody bid for 700 crores. So I won the contract. On the assumption that if I can get a grant of this much, 
right? My so called ROC return on equity based on my hurdle rate. Yes, okay. What about user fees and breaking and paid after with the break? User fees is not a discussion. So it, it is already predetermined because on yes. that basis also it they're going to decide everything. Who we'll decide? I know there are certain regulations to the regulator, like in Bombay, there is a on the roads, right? We are rupees for so many kilometers. And so I'm allowed that. But the, the, the whole discussion is how smart I am to create more revenue. We'll talk about revenue a little bit more. What's inventory terms? What's inventory terms? Yeah, third semester, right? One semester you'll be in the business. <laughs> So if uh, it's more you can turn inventory, more you can create value. In my metro as an asset, which the technical people have to manage to ensure it's running, reality is maintained, running, then my commercial team can create revenue on the asset. Right now, we are so used to free roads and free this and free that and the government doing it. But if you are a PPP, you have to create your own velocity quickly. Right? That's called asset velocity. So I have a net set of 2800 crores in terms of 172 crores per year. Right? And I assume the revenue of 300 crores. My revenue is only 45 crores because there's a failure of uh, the real estate block. Huh? So called planning exemptions, the real estate market collapsed. There's no guarantee to my retails thing. I had to drop. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to run this land train also. Because if I don't, I can penalize further. Because there are some operating parameters. You have to run between this point to this point. You run between <coughs> every 15 minutes, the train has to go. Right? There's between certain speed. It should not have uh, it's just a reliability, 20 percent, 90 percent. I only five hours at night, but why? When you say, please extend the, the time for the train, my time for maintenance is 26 kilometer line. I have to run, check the electrical systems, the track systems, and everything else, right? The sensor and the fire system.